closer, further, closer, further, <laughs> closer. What are we talking about today, Bryce? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If things get farther from the light, to it, they appear smaller. And how things, if things get closer to the light, they appear bigger. And by they, you mean the shadow of those yes. things, right? Yeah. Closer, further. Closer, further. Closer. Hi, this is Brynette with HowAreYouAlgeWorks.com. Today I'm going to be talking about magnification. So just a simple concept in radiography. If this is something that's interesting to you, especially if you're a radiographer or you're a radiologic technologist, then subscribe to this channel, click below, hit the little bell icon to get notified when we release new content. And we're starting now. So the idea is the same way that if you took a flashlight as your source of visible light and you wanted to teach your little kiddo about what a bunny looks like, you could come up, use your fingers and project on the wall behind you. The idea was that as you move closer to the flashlight, the projection of the bunny is going to actually end up larger on the wall and then as your fingers move further away the projection of the bunny is going to end up smaller so as you're coming closer there's actually going to be more magnification the same way with x-rays the light source in the case of the flashlight is divergent so the light is coming out the same way with x-rays. X-rays are divergent or they're coming out in a in a cone manner from the actual the x-ray source. And so if we talk about it in terms of something inside the patient, we call that the object. We talk about the object size. And then if we call it the image size, which is the size that that object is going to project on onto the detector instead of our fingers, we're talking about the projection of our heart or our bones on the detector itself. But the idea is the same and we can define something called the magnification or the magnification factor. And the definition of that will just be the image size divided by the object size. So that's the definition of how much larger the object is going to occur when it's projected onto the image plane, the plane where the detector is. So this number is always going to be larger than one because our x-rays are divergent. So it's always gonna be the case that on the image plane, the object appears larger. So that's the definition for magnification and then how can we define that in terms of the distances in this scenario? So the idea is that if we define how far we are from our source to our object, and then we also define how far we are from our source to our image plane, then we can calculate the magnification. So we call the source to image distance, the SID shown here, and then we call the source to object distance, the SOD, source to object distance. And then what we can see is these are actual similar triangles. So if we expand them out, we see that these are similar triangles so that this SID is proportional to this image size in the same way that this SOD is proportioned to this object size. So we can just write this equation here using the fact that we have similar triangles. The magnification is the image size divided by the object size, which is equal to the SID divided by the SOD. So 
we can solve this for any one of these factors. Most typically we would want to solve for the image size because the idea is that we would have a given size of our object and then the question is how big is that going to project on the detector. Also we might want to solve if we made a measurement on the detector of the image size then we might want to solve for the item. So the geometry of systems can vary significantly depending on if you're using a chest radiograph or if you're using a mammography system. Depending on the type of system you're using, that magnification can vary significantly. And you want to know the relationship between the size of things that are in the actual object itself and how big they appear on the images. What we want to talk about next is that your object and you moved it a little bit higher. So instead of the object being right here, you moved it a little bit higher. Would that change your magnification or will that magnification stay the same? And then the answer is that as long as the orientation of this object stays the same and the distance, namely the source to object distance stays the same, the magnification will stay the same as well. So these two objects or rather these two images, the size of these two images at the image plane is unchanged. Um, so those, those two are the same length. If you took your object and you rotated it, then you can get significant variation. And that's what makes projection radiography quite difficult as far as interpretation. Right, what are we talking about today? Oh, let's see. Oh, thank you. I what? can't do it, I can't do it. I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Alright, Luca, what's your role here at How Radiology Works? I'm a typhoid. Oh, very good. 